We have a treat this morning. Camilla Burgess is here. She is a voice coach. In fact, her business card said Viva Voice. Viva Voce. Oh, Viva Voce. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> I'll just I get something. Viva Voce. Speech Art Studio. So she's going to spend the next 10, 15 minutes talking about what she wants us to, to learn about using our voices. So at this time, let's please welcome Camilla. When I w heard this word of the day, ironic, I started to get a little bit worried. And then when I heard the table topics, I thought, I hope they don't call my name. <laughs> I'm new, please don't make me do this. So I had to think, what am I going to say? And actually, it was your example of the translation into Russian? Serbian. Serbian that made the penny drop for me. When I was traveling throughout Asia, I would go into these backpacker districts and the tuk-tuk drivers would say to me, oh, come see this hotel. And I said, okay, I'd go in, I'd look at the hotel. I didn't really like it. And they'd say, okay, well, come see this one. Same, same, but different. <laughs> <laughs> same, same, but different. There's my example of paradox and oxymoron. So my name is Camilla Burgess. I am a voice and speech coach based in downtown Vancouver. And I am here this morning to talk with you about variety, vocal variety and expression. How to be more expressive when we speak. So I'm going to start off with a poem for you. And I just encourage you to imagine that it's around Halloween. The hairy toe. Once. There was a woman who went out to pick beans, and she found a hairy toe. She took the hairy toe home with her, and that night, when, it went, when she went to bed, the wind began to moan and groan. Away off in the distance, she seemed to hear a voice crying, Where's my scrooched down, way down under the covers. And about that time, the wind appeared to hit the house. Swoosh! The old house creaked and cracked like something was trying to get in. The voice had come nearer, almost at the door now, and it said, and pulled them tight around her head. The wind growled around the house like some big animal and rumbled over the chimney. All at once, she heard the door. And something slipped in and began to creep over the floor. The floor went creep, creep. With every step that thing took towards her bed, the woman could almost feel it bending over the bed. And there, in an awful voice, it said, Where's my hairy toe? do as a speaker to capture your attention? <laughs> Bang. <Spend> the podium. <laughs> <laughs> Different vocal voice variety. Yes. Lots of vocal variety. Pitches. Pitches. Great. I'm going to write these down up here. What else? Clarity. Okay. Volume. Different volume. Pronunciation. Sorry? 
Enunciation, she said. Enunciation, I'm gonna put that here. Pace. Probably spelled that wrong. Pace, great. Famous communications, body gestures. Body. Yeah. Facial Fa expression. Facial expression. Face. This is. <laughs> That's everything. Okay. Almost. Payoff. <coughs> payoff. For us to listen. Okay. What What's the payoff? To learn. Okay. I'm, I'm, can you expand your point? I'm not quite understanding what you mean. I could. Yeah. <laughs> Will I? Yes. Uh, because you're a professional and we're getting it for free. So we should <laughs> learn what we can while you're doing it. Okay. And an opportunity maybe for the future. Okay. Okay, great. So we've got some examples of um, variety happening up here. And what you saw and what you pointed out in particular that I liked was that I used my body and my face and my voice together to speak with you. And when you get all of these things working together, then you are the most communicative. So to be specific about vocal variety, what is vocal variety? It is changing our voice to bring attention to something. And we can change our voice in a few different ways, as you pointed out, but before we really dive into those details, what are the benefits of speaking with vocal variety? Drawing your audience in. In other words, you captivate their attention. Mm -hmm. Enhance the meaning. Yes. The people will fall asleep. Yes. They'd be too scared to sleep after <laughs> that. <laughs> I pictured a bunch of 12 year old kids in a tent. <laughs> okay, yes, I agree with you. I, I have done it with people of all ages, and it always seems to work. What did you say again? I said if you use vocal variety to far extent, we can engage subconsciously other brain centers. It's rather than a voice, it would be kind of overall perception. Imaginary part of our brain would be more engaged. Great. So we're stimulating the imagination and we're doing that through appealing to the senses. When we hear someone speak, we watch them, we hear them, and we imagine. And the imagination can be stimulated through um, words that appeal to all senses. What are our five senses? Touch, uh, smell, taste, sight, sight, smell, smell, smell. Unami, extra sensory. Hearing. <laughs> hearing, did we say that one? Yeah. Okay, so can you give me an example of something from my poem that appeals to the sense of touch? The pounding on the lecture. Okay, <laughs> what else? In the words. The hairy toe. The hairy toe, okay, how did that appeal to your, your sense? Because you can see it. You can see it, okay. Give me an example of something that appealed to the sense of sound, the sense of hearing, rather. The creaking door. Yeah. Lovely, Probably. so we had some onomatopoeic words happening. Give the, me something that appealed to the high pitch. The high pitch there, yeah. The, the, what, the character's voice? Yeah. Okay, great. The wind. The wind, lovely. And something that appealed to the sense of sight? Your facial expression. Okay. And in your imagination, the image, what images did you get? That hairy toe. That hairy toe. <laughs> the, the individual scared underneath the covers. Yeah, lovely. Huddling under the covers. Also. Yeah. Good. Did we cover them all? It didn't go through very well. Oh, taste. Was there any taste? No. Maybe the taste of fear. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. <clears throat> so uh, when you are speaking with variety, we talked about the benefits. I just want to give you a watch out here. Watch out not to overdo it. If you emphasize everything, then you lose meaning. And nothing stands out. And if you also fall into a pattern of emphasis, for example, emphasizing every fifth word, then you are once again going to become monotonous and lose your meaning. Okay, let's do a warm up together to see if we can get our voices <coughs> being a little bit more vocally expressive. So everybody stand on your feet, push your chairs under and stand behind your chair. <coughs> How are we doing for time, time master? 9.15. Perfect. 
Okay, everybody shake out your hands. Go ahead, shake out an ankle at the same time. Shake out your other ankle. You need to get loose for voice work. Bounce your shoulders, bounce your knees. Good, this is also for me. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Tell me, how did you get out of bed this morning? Your long One leg at a off. time. One leg at a time. What was that over there? Your long cut went off. Okay, and then <laughs> what did you do to actually levitate your body out of bed? How did you get out of Roll. bed? Just fell out. I rolled. Rolled. <laughs> Did anybody jump out of bed thinking, ah, oh, this morning I'm going to Toastmasters? My daughter threw up, so I had to jump. Okay! <laughs> there we go. All right. We're going to say the phrase, this morning I jumped out of bed. <clears throat> if you are feeling comfortable enough, I encourage you to jump on the word jump. All right? The phrase is, this morning I jumped out of bed. Let's say it together in unison. This morning, I jumped out of bed. Great! What happened to our bodies? It jumped. They jumped. They went up and down. What happened to our voice? It went up and up. Yes. This is an example of inflection, our voice going up and down. Let's see if we can keep this energy in our voice while standing still. This morning, I jumped out of bed. Lovely. What did you do next? Turn on the coffee. Nice. What else? Jumped back. Jumped back. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> what else? Stretch. Oh yeah, how big was your stretch? Quite a few. Uh, like this. Everybody take a big stretch. Good. And say the words. Big, big stretch. stretch. <sighs> I've been young. <laughs> <laughs> Great. What happened to our bodies? Yes. What happened to, to our words? Stretch. All right, the sentence so far is this morning I jumped out of bed and took a big stretch. Okay, let's say it together with vocal variety. This, this morning, morning I jumped out of bed and took a big stretch. Great, what did you do next? And I stumbled to the washroom. <laughs> stumbled to the washroom. I like it. What kind of emotion is in stumbling? It's like, down. Oh, down. Stutterish. Yeah. Discouraging. Right. Okay, so imagine that in your body. Feel the, the stumbling. You could even stumble a little bit. And we're going to say, stumbled to the washroom. One, two, three. <coughs> Stumble to the washroom. Nice. The sentence so far, standing just in your natural speaker's posture. Come on, off your chair. Lovely. Stand on your own feet. Great. This morning I jumped out of bed, took a big stretch, and stumbled to the washroom. Ready? This, this morning, morning I jumped out of bed, took a big stretch, and stumbled to the washroom. Good work, give yourselves a round of applause. Now. You're not done yet. Oh, yeah. oh. Okay. <laughs> I thought we're done. Well, we're no, no. Done now, we're. All right, there's one um, other activity that we're going to, well, a few. We'll see how time goes. We're going to sing some scales together. Now, I know that it's early in the morning, but the more that you can expand your range, and somebody talked about this pitch, it was the first thing on the board. The more you can accurately reflect the full range of human experience. So, let's see if we can sing together. La, join in. La. Wow, you guys are good. Okay, we're gonna go up a scale. La 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 together. La 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 Good, we'll pause here. Anybody having trouble with their voice? Yeah. <laughs> okay, two things. One, it's early in the morning, the voice takes a little while to warm up, mine, mine included. Two, if you feel like it's hard, use your imagination. Start to imagine something floating up and then floating down. The more imagination you can get behind your voice, the more Free and easy it will be. La 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 together. La 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 la. Use your imagination. La 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 la. Keep going. La 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 la. Make it easy. La 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 la. Make it fun. 
la 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 good and we're gonna do one that uses some different kind of resonance we can play with our <coughs> vocal um, quality so we can speak with a really nasal voice if we want to Oh, and I'm going to encourage you all to place your, no your voice right into your nose. You're going to say, I have a voice in my nose. Go. I have a voice in my nose. Go ahead. And I have a voice in my throat. I have a voice in my throat. And I have a voice coming out my ears. I have a voice coming out my ears. Good. Yeah. <laughs> and that, that's fun. Yeah. So the more imaginative you can be about where your voice is placed, the more you can speak with vocal um, voices. So, just to summarize, <laughs> we are going to go round the table and you are going to say one thing that you are going to incorporate into your, your speaker's toolkit based on the idea of vocal variety. Go. Um, pitch. Pitch. Enunciation. Uh, I don't know. Can I repeat pitch? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You can, whatever works for you. Variety. Great. Body language. Great. Face. Face. Pronunciation. Vocal. No. Silence. <laughs> pitch. Great. <laughs> Children crying. Sorry? Children crying. Children crying? Okay. Pronunciation. <laughs> Speaking yeah. of my butt. <laughs> Great. Yeah, good. Volume. Good. Pace. Great. Start exploring it all. I need it all. <laughs> I have handouts for you here. I'll sit down and pass them around the table. Thank you very much. Thank you.